Rumble is said to be one of the hardest games in VR. What's my data for that? One, look at the negative Steam reviews for Rumble that have less than one hour of playtime. It's just such a huh. different game that everyone finds it hard. No. What am I doing? A little bit lower. Two. Maybe. This poll. Yeah. Yes. Ah! No, 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 don't do that. No, I need it. It's perfectly it's accurate. Scary, so. Don't do that, no. Three. If Habby plays part. VR games every week for a living and struggled, I was so bad, I thought it was the game's fault. I'm you're gonna struggle too. Move. It's been a year since I abandoned other VR games in a pursuit of one sacred, cruel, and unattainable skill in Rumble in an attempt to fulfill a prophecy that could change VR forever. But that's a main channel video and a huge claim, an offensive claim to some. So to make sure I check my biases, I want to go back through my VR career to find out if Rumble truly is on another level. We won't do them all, but what better place to start than with the easiest and most iconic VR skill, beating a Beat Saber map on Expert Plus. Let's start with the most iconic, yet easiest motion control skill, boxing. Honestly, not much has changed. When in doubt, gut punch it out. What has changed is the cheapness of the AI doing behind the head shots. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. But that's okay, we've got a trick of our own. Always make sure to get in a couple of taps after the bell. I didn't capitalize on round one, but round two? You better believe I was gaining ground. Despite my years of training as a child, the muscle memory didn't translate over to my adult body. So I took hit after hit after hit, and just like the hero Rocky, I lost. Spoilers for Rocky, you know he actually loses. But within that beating, I started to get the feel back and got my best combo yet. Right after the bell. It wasn't enough though. Ladies and gentlemen, but just like Rocky, your winner is the blue I beat corner. the crap out of the ref for rigging the game. <laughs> or at least that's what I think happens in Rocky. I haven't seen that movie. But that's when I realized I was playing on the wrong difficulty. I'm not testing endurance. I'm testing difficulty in a realistic environment. Keep it clean at all times. Good round. Protect yourself at all times. Dropping your guard, Owen. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> ref. Despite my original reservations against my AI opponents, I came to respect them. They never backed down or gave up. It's a lesson I'd take with me. Rev, you gotta send him off. This isn't medically safe. He, he, he's not staying down. Rev, you know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, with the match you know what I'll do the first if you round. make the wrong call. Your winner by technical knockout. The red corner. How could you do? Oh, sorry, that's me. Thanks, Ref. I appreciate it. Boxing, decent prowess, three to five hours. Less if you were a Wii Boxing Pro. But using your hands as hands in VR is easy. What if you were to use your hands as feet? That are also still hands. Now, don't be fooled by the screaming children. I can see the ghost. Gorilla Tag has a very high skill ceiling. Basic movement takes you like an hour or two to get used to, but wall climbing and running? Watch this, watch this. Oh, dang, how'd you do that? What are you doing with your hands? That's a different story. In theory, Ow. your monkey hands stick to any surface, but only for a split second. So with perfect timing and the right angle, you can wall climb. So I asked the first player I met to teach me. Just like try and get yourself through the wall, I guess, and then just like wall. How long have you been playing Gorilla Tag for? Five months. So there you go, five months to learn how to wall climb and... Hang on. You guys new? Do you want help? Yeah, what's the tip? You don't want to be distance watch me, you want to be small. Okay, watch this, watch this. Just come on, man. 
So that's what it feels like. How did you go so high? With a better mentor and a bit of practice, eventually I got the sticky feeling of those monkey paws. Oh yeah, I think I'm getting it. Look, I'm gonna count that as a success. But before moving to the next game, there was one more skill in Gorilla Tag I needed mentoring on. So Ice Cube, how do I convince my parents to give me money so I can buy cosmetics? For me, what I do is like, um, keep annoying. Like asking them. Although wise, Ice Cube's answer boiled down to luck, and I was unlucky enough to be an adult ass man, and apparently it's a social faux pas to still be financially reliant on your parents okay. at this age. <sighs> but could I train my luck in general? There's no shortage of roguelikes in VR, but the favorite of mine is the one that's already been paid for by my parents, the Light Brigade. I rebooted the game and found myself on the hardest difficulty halfway through a run I'd started a year ago very quickly, completely forgot the controls. But that was all good because you have two lives in this game, so I had a chance to pull this back and work on my luck. You might be thinking luck isn't a skill, but as the Stoic philosopher Seneca said, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. A nice quote, but the dictionary disagrees. Luck. There we go. Oh, I think I was covering up the first boss fight. So there's no spoilers. <laughs> like in life, a roguelike forces you to make good choices out of the hand you're dealt. As I prayed with my Christian brother to RN Jesus, I was reminded of the time I repented to real Jesus for getting into NFTs and bought three gummy bear PNGs. That was a bad choice. The worst choice was being left holding the bag and eventually selling for a thousand percent reduction. But with that four dollars I got back, I was able to buy an actual bag of gummy bears that gave me much more enjoyment. A good choice, and a lesson learned. As I entered the safe zone, I realized I had held keys in my inventory. Like the diamond hands I am, when I played a year ago, I had held onto those keys despite the opportunity cost of inventory space. But unlike my gummy bears, this reward was true. That's when I realized you don't need as much luck when you have faith in your own abilities to eventually succeed. What? With no lives left, I played as cautiously as I could to prove that luck was unnecessary. When you prepared, you got opportunity, and you had faith in yourself to succeed. Here we go, give me something good. It's gotta be that one. Round after round, wave after wave, I marched on. I even managed to bank my souls and rank up a bunch of times. Getting to the next area, I guess it was luck that gave me a plus five to health. The enemies were tougher, but as long as I believed, I knew that I would be... Um... With the right plays... Yeah, I kept playing, and with one life <sighs> left, I, I beat the game. But for the sake of spoilers, I can't show you. To beat the Light Brigade on the hardest difficulty, I'm gonna say... Seven to nine hours. Or at least that's how long it took me to beat the hardest difficulty. Or highest attunement, as they call it. Huh. Well, that wasn't there when I played it. So... Speaking of luck, this video isn't sponsored, but if you're feeling lucky, you can buy a Loot Crate pack of my Skill Essential NFTs. Come on guys, I told you I repented of that. Obviously I'm joking. Let me be real. I can't keep up this still kind of mid-level of editing, but mentally I can't lower my own standards. As a professional YouTube editor, it's only on my own content that I can fully go all out. But when I do that, it's not sustainable. Why did I make cards? Why did I do a radar chart? Why did I spend five months on this video and the main channel one? It's because I was weak-willed. So please, please don't subscribe and tempt me to believe this is possible. And another thing, if I have to license Iris by the Google Dolls one more time, I will literally go broke. It's not even that funny, but I couldn't help myself. Anyway, I lost my segue. What? Luck? Faith? Oh yes, heaven. This time, we're gonna focus on speedrunning. In the game, Neon White. A year ago, I was a record holder in about half the maps, but my high score should still be... What? Well, that was the first world before I started caring. It's gotta be one. Well, So I checked the next world, eight, and the next, eight, yes. and the next. Seven, hitting my stride. Sixteen. But well, one name stood one. out on top. Cameron's been grinding every time. Six, well, four, that's pretty six, good. Six, five, six, five, five, three. How are they two seconds faster? 
Now, some of the other challenges I've beat, you've had to trust me, and I appreciate that. But for this one, I wanted at least one number one spot back. So I began my hunt in the first world. Oh, I forgot the word the buttons were. I figured out how to jump, and I went for it. I might not have beaten Cameron, but I managed to beat my own time. Plus one. Grinding it out, we'll get there. The advantage of running a niche VR version of a speedrunning game is that you don't have to be that good to get a world record. But the disadvantage is you have no one to push you to be your best. Because to be the best, you've got to be continually bested until you're better than the rest. Now that Cameron had given me this golden opportunity, I just needed a level with room for optimization. And eventually, I think I found it. But let me tell you about Neon White. It's actually a flat screen game that by some miracle was modded into an S tier, sorry, a top of the alphabet A tier VR game. You pick up gun cards from the floor or enemies you kill. You can either shoot or discard the card for an extra movement ability, like stomping down or dashing forward. You have to kill all the enemies on a map before you can exit. Yeah, like all of them. Like you, you can't just miss, you have to hit them. Thank you. Okay, double my old time. I began the grind, but something would always go wrong. Come on, a bubble? I would miss an enemy. I'd miss a shot. I'd miss my childhood. Was I just chasing my own shadow? Had I already reached my peak game of form and now am I simply on the downhill? I couldn't let these thoughts get to me. Cameron was calling. I used to hate that Neon White would repeat the same voice line over and over. I just keep getting better and better. Oh, still so slow. Although my head was speaking negativity, White was reminding me I was getting better. Better, 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 better. better. You know what? I have a chance on this one. I'm coming for you, Cameron. Until that one perfect run. Come on, better, come better. on, yes! <laughs> Thank you, Cameron, for pushing me. It was an honor. Neon White, a high score in VR speedrunning, 20 hours. I'm shaking, I can't even read the leaderboard. Used to be maybe like 12 when less people played. Just wanted to say that these numbers are completely made up and it's my objective opinion, so if you disagree, I don't know how to help you, bud. Maybe I'll have to leave a comment. Like I said, it's my objective opinion. It's the truth. Sorry, what was that? All right. I'm a little too rusty on Beat Saber. I decided to finish the boring campaign I skipped to warm up to Expert Plus. At least it was easy. Dang it, the same spot. Fuck! That was worse than before. On the grind, I discovered another skill harder than the game itself. Wait, what? Reading comprehension. No, did I read that wrong? Oh, it's a maximum challenge, not a minimum challenge. Dang it. To my disappointment, <sighs> there the is. final level wasn't even Expert okay, Plus. The, the last one's not even Expert Plus, it's Expert. So in a way, I did the campaign for nothing. <sighs> and why would you make the last level reward bad cuts? Good enough. Again, I regret. These challenges are so silly. It's your last level. Don't you want to like make it perfect or something? Easy. Anyway, I felt like I was ready to tackle Expert Plus. Too easy. Well, the colors were different on that one, so I wasn't used to that. Okay. It's a bit different to the campaign. You know what? Just give me a minute here, would you? Yes, I did it. At the highest letter in the alphabet, too, must be the best. <sighs> Moving on, you know who doesn't get enough credit? The modder Raiku. Raikupata. Raikupata. Raikupata? Raikupatra. He doesn't get enough credit for creating some of the best VR experiences. Not only did he convert Neon White, but he also did. Outer Wilds. Now, I've deliberately been doing harder skills in VR and not entire games. But to be fair, Outer Wilds is like one giant interconnected puzzle to solve. Okay, good point. That's not a skill exclusive to VR like the others. But I'm just popping back in to show you I did it. So you might also play this great game in VR. Spoilers. Spoilers do not look. On Rumble Rest Days, that is. Oh my gosh. You cannot just go into space without a spacesuit. 
I beat the whole game, but I couldn't remember that. I beat the game in about 18 hours. You also need to factor in overcoming the existential dread that comes from finishing the game. Plus three hours. Ugh, now back to rhythm and accuracy with Pistol Whip. I jumped straight in with dual pistols on hard mode. Thankfully, it was like riding a bike. A bike, I immediately crashed into a wall. I was never very good at riding bikes, but the crash knocked enough sense into me to take the run seriously. I've played Pistol Whip for about 20 hours and beat all the campaigns at this level. And after a few near misses, and some uh, tactical damage boosting, as they say in the speedrunning communities, I finished the song. Hey, the highest letter there is. Let's take that up a notch. But Pistol Whip only becomes a true test when you turn off aim assist. Ah, ah. That's so weird. I think my tracking is bugged. Quick reset and uh, turn off the aim assist with Deadeye. Crazy, there's no aim assist on this. So you have to be a very good gamer. Dang it. Look, I'll save you the pain and summarize the run. No matter how good you think you are, when you add a second gun, everything goes out the window. Especially with no aim assist. Which is what I did, I only cheated a little with laser pointers. Now, that's what I would be saying if I was a regular person. But the stats don't lie. Check that out. So good. So accuracy wise, let's check the aim assist that's needed. See so if you've got dead eye on, then you actually should be 100%. Okay, but then a missed shot should reduce your accuracy. In this. Huh. That checks out. <laughs> Just to show you, it was disabled. Pistol whip, hard mode, no aim assist, dual wielding, 22 hours plus. Feeling the rhythm, I was ready for Beat Saber Expert Plus. Yes. Yes. Feeling my accuracy, I was ready for the true test of gunmanship. Getting a positive KD in a PvP shooter. And why not start with the premier eSport of VR? Smarty getting involved, finds Clap, Bix finds Frank, now it's all up to- It didn't start well. Three people. But at least, the ping advantage was on my side. Then there was more good news. Now we have four players. We have four players that now. didn't last. Oh, four players. Let's, let's play time capture the orb. No, I'm, I'm gonna get off. Scout snipe. Bye bye. And I went from bad to worse. Uh, let's see if it works. I think we're on. That yeah, hasn't worked. We are, we are friendly. We can't kill each other. We we're all friendly, yeah. are we? Little did I know, but that very problem would turn into my solution. I, I need to get a positive uh, KD, but I can't kill you guys. So how do we... <laughs> Wait, I hadn't realized, but I had achieved another skill along the way. <laughs> my comrades were willing to sacrifice themselves for my victory. Shoot us. Yeah? I want to show you something really cool. Can I see a flying dying man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this skill wouldn't take hundreds of hours, no, just minutes. Because I wasn't training gunmanship, I was training French. Yeah, sure. <laughs> in the end, I joined in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the fucking victory! Scheme needs to update. My final kill to death ratio I won. was actually negative. But I was positive I made two new friends. <laughs> Okay, look, I want to see Vale make a comeback too. And I'm pretty sure it has, because I played this before the mega update that changed everything, so... Bad timing. But yes, I did fail the original skill. And it wasn't the only one. When playing the most terrifying game in VR, I failed the bravery test. This is not... where I wanted to be. <laughs> and... I'm struggling to not lose hope in PC VR after playing free standalone games. Oh, and Beat Saber? Closer, closer! No! No! Beating a song on Expert Plus after you take a break from the game and then come back only to lose all your skill but grind it out to prove a point you've forgotten in the first place. Total playtime, 50 hours. 
Easy first try. Done. <laughs> you thought Beat Saber was going to be the big bad of this video, didn't you? A. That's the highest letter. Let me tell you something. Yes, Rumble's a hard game, but there is a skill in Rumble that required all of these skills combined. Yes, even that one. And ten times the amount of hours. It was such an epic journey, it forced me to make this second channel to dump this very video on. So either go play Rumble, or see for yourself the true hardest skill in VR.